Welcome to In The Capsule, a series where I share with you every category in my life and what belongings I have in it. And today I'm going to share with you my cabin bag packing for one week trip. So packing can be a little stressful and today I'm going to share with you what I'm packing with me and specifically the technique for a one week trip with a cabin bag only. My cabin bag is a Louis Vuitton one. It's an older model. I talked about it in my last haul video. Make sure to check it. I'm mainly gonna focus on the technique because I'm planning to post for you a lookbook of what I actually wore in this week every day. So let's get started. Usually in a cabin bag, you don't have a lot of space and that's why you will be struggling a little bit to fit everything. I am usually in love with packing cubes. The set of packing cubes, my favorite in my favorite color, beige, is from AliExpress. Usually if you Google the term packing cubes, you're gonna find a ton of them. Packing cubes are amazing, but I always find them hard to pack in cabin bags. Cabin bags are tricky. Yes, it is important to have things organized, but at the same time, we need to make the most of the space. A quick disclaimer, if you didn't know already, I am passing through a tough period because my grandfather passed away. That's why for me it's not very hard to pair the items I'm taking with me because I'm still in a mourning phase. I don't feel like wearing color yet. So everything I'm taking with me will basically be black. But it's very important if you are not my case that you take things that will go together. Things that are in neutral color base things that you can mix and match. That's why for me, I like to take inspiration from outfits from Pinterest, or at least plan the outfits. What is my most versatile pants? What are the most versatile tops that could go with it? Uh, things like that. Another thing is always take clothes for activity. For example, if you're going to a place where there is swimming, take something for swimming, etc. Here I'm taking three types of pants and that's what I always recommend. Something comfy, something dressy and shorts. Also, I always recommend to take with you something dressy. You never know, maybe you go into the city and there's a nice show at the opera and you decide to go, what you're gonna wear. In that case, always take something dressy. I always like to wear my bulkiest item on the day I'm going so you can do this to your jeans and your bulky top so that you don't have to pack it. Here I'm showing you how the cubes don't fit. So if I put everything in one big cube, it doesn't fit. It takes almost all the bag. Even when I put it in half of it, it doesn't fit. So that's exactly why this technique doesn't work. How I'm packing actually is as follows. I first start by taking my belt. This is uh, my Kelly belt from Hermes. I'm going to cover the buckles with these small dust bags that come from Hermes. Uh, I find them handy so that the hardware just doesn't get scratched. I put the belts and I recommend you do this all around the bag. Because it's a one-way trip, I only need one belt and I bought it in this camel color so that it contrasts a bit the black I'm wearing. I always also recommend you roll your clothes, that way it doesn't take much space. I then fit all the clothes in a game way, it's like you're playing Tetris or something, and I start to put all my clothes in one layer. I do my best to fit everything in one very flat layer at the bottom of the bag. That way I make sure that things are all laid down, but at the same time I still have a lot of space at the top to put everything else that is not clothes. I'm planning to take a carding with me on the plane and also a scarf and a blazer to keep me warm. And these, as I said, are bulky items, so having them worn on the way to the airport is the best. I'm taking one hair tool and it is my Dyson. And the attachment I decide to take with me is the brush because it's very versatile and fast. I don't want to spend hours doing my hair in the morning. This is a bag from GH that I love because it compacts any hair tool I'm taking with me and fits in my cabin bag comfortably. I'm also wearing my bulky shoes on the plane, which are these. I always recommend you take dressy shoes, sandals, 
and something that is easy to walk in. So my Chanel loafers are easy to walk in, my Hermes orange sandals are my sandals, and my Vivia shoes because they're so easy to walk in, but they also look dressy. I'm planning to take socks with me and I'm gonna put them in this pouch. I also take an extra uh, bag with me for laundry to put the dirty clothes in. I cannot live without these three hair tools. So my Denman mixed bristle brush, my Bora bristle brush, and my rat tail comb. This is the bag I have for my toiletries on one side and makeup on one side. I found this in a drugstore here and I can't live without it. I have here, this is a tripod so that I film. And as you can see, I remove things, put them back in and keep doing this. I placed all my underwear and my daily pads in this bag in this small pack. I put it in the back pocket and that's it. I close the bag. When it comes to what bags I take with me. I like to take a big bag that is comfortable, also one that could work as a beach bag, especially on summer trips. I also like to take a dressy bag and a small bag as well for on the go. I will take my Chanel wallet on chain and also this gold Chloe bag that I showed in my last haul video. I will put both of them in my bag and use them as bag organizers on my way and that's how I have them compacted and safe. I hang things before I go and that's basically it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I will be filming a vlog there and I will be also filming lookbook of what outfits I wear. Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below what you do in common, what you learned new in this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!